I haven't told many people this, but in my head, I've got thousands of secret worlds all going on all at the same time. I'm also autistic. People tend to diagnose autism with really specific checkbox descriptions, but in reality, there's a whole variation as to what we're like. For instance, my little brother, he's very severely autistic. He's nonverbal, he can't talk at all, but I love to talk. People often associate autism with liking maths and science and nothing else, but I know so many autistic people who love being creative. People are so afraid of variety that they try and fit everything into a tiny little box with really specific labels. I googled autistic people are, and the top result was demons. <laughs> that is the first thing that people think when they think autism. They know. <laughs> I don't try and fit myself into a tiny little box. There are problems, though. There are problems with being autistic, and there are problems with having too much imagination. Like, school can be a problem in general, but having also to explain to a teacher on a daily basis that their lesson is inexplicably dull, and you are <laughs> secretly taking refuge in a world inside your head in which you are not in that lesson, uh, that adds to your list of problems. When something very exciting happens in my inner world, I've just got to run, or I've got to rock backwards and forwards, or sometimes scream. Like, like, this gives me so much energy, and I've got to have an outlet for all that energy. But if you think about it, what is normal? What, what does it mean? Imagine if that was the best compliment you ever received. Wow, you are really normal. All in all, I won't trade my autism and my imagination for the world. Instead of punishing anything that strives from normal, why not celebrate uniqueness?